Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea and for today's video I am going to be attempting to do some what are they called again? Passion twist. Passion twist. Yes, I'm going to be attempting to do passion twists. So yeah, let's get started. I braided my hair into like these um, three-legged braids, like box braids. I braided like six of them into my head last night. I washed it and um, I put um, leave-in conditioner and I moisturized. Um, I also blue dried it just a few minutes ago because it was a bit damp But I'm going to be taking them out I did this because I wanted to have like my hair in a stretched state instead of like Shrunk because I feel like it gives a much better result as I saw and I should have just you know blue dried my hair Without doing this, but I didn't want to use a lot of heat because I want to do another style next time And I'm going to use heat so I don't want to be using a lot of heat on my hair so yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be taking this out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I took off my braids and then I noticed that it was wet, so I had to blow dry. So that's why it's like has a bit more volume. I really haven't seen my hair like this in like a year, and wow, I got like a really big trim, and my hair still looks good. I need another th trim too, cause I can feel, I can feel it, I can feel it. But right now I started at one p.m. and now it's 1 45 um i'm gonna try to find a way to section my own hair because my mother isn't here to help me so i'm gonna find a way to section my hair and then i'll be back and show you guys um the, how the sections look hopefully it's not bad like last time when i did the logs y'all oh if y'all want to see it click the link in the bio but last time in the front the parts were so big that it got old really really fast and i didn't want that so this time i'm gonna make the parts really not too small because i don't have enough hair but not too big for it to get old quickly you know so maybe in the back it'll be bigger but i don't know either way we'll see how it goes so yeah okay so right now it's like 3 240 bro this is taking me so long and i haven't even started suctioning in the back but this is how i'm suctioning it like smaller pieces like this then I'm going to take my equal styler y'all use better better um, gel because this gel isn't as holding as it should be so I take it and I put some on then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna braid it you know small box braids not all the way but just as a starter so I can crochet in the body wave hair so it's just you can't even see it but it's just like that then i'll crochet in the hair and i'll show you guys how i do it but let me go and do the rest of my head it's gonna take me so many hours i hate being a beginner because it takes you so long other people it took them like five hours this is gonna take me like the whole day and night and i started early this time so send a prayer send a prayer Hey y'all, I'm back. It's like 6.15 right now and I've done done I've just done separating my hair as you can see. Like I suction it off all over and yeah, it took me a couple of hours, but my mother did help me so like it went faster than I thought it would. Um I started this at one o'clock and it's like six fifteen. Mine is two hours off because I ate, plus I was doing a little breaks here and there to print stuff. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, minus two hours. So, around like four hours. Um, now it's time for the actual hair part. Um, so the hair that I'm going to be using is the Remy Express in um, Water Wave 1. And this is the leftover hair that I had from when I did my locks. I have like three other packs left. So hopefully it's going to be enough. But if it's not, 
we'll see we'll see but yeah let me just open this um the video that i was watching for reference she used like three strands and i don't think i have enough for all my hair so i'm gonna try with one strand and see how i like it and if i don't then i'm gonna up it to two just close my hair so i can get out of my way i'll just do it in half but i'm really glad my mother helped me because this would have took so long and it would not have been this even. The front I did myself, but the back she did it. I don't know how it looks like, but I'm pretty sure it's straight. Let's start with this one. So I got my crochet needle. Pull it in. Like so. Then I'm taking my hair. Oh, I can't even see. I'm taking the hair like that. Closing it. Pulling it like that not all the way and then I'm taking this part and then we're doing like a knot so I'm pulling everything in and hoping it makes a knot I don't know uh, I don't know what I'm doing okay I think it didn't I need a mirror where my mirror okay yeah now I can see so like that and then she started twisting. Yeah, she started twisting. I don't want to do twists though. I want to do passion twists. So how do you do that? Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna take some gel for the end so it just hides it better. Okay, okay. I am mad at it. I am mad at it. Like this. I can see a bit of my hair, right? Yeah, but what can I do? I don't have the, you know, bone straight hair. Thank God for that. Mm, I love having kinky hair. It's a struggle though. But it's cute. I love it. The versatility. The part about being black. I love it. Okay. I don't know how long this is. But I don't really care for the length. I don't really want it to be too short. But like. I would. Ideally I would love it to be really long. But. It is what it is. I actually don't know how I'm going to close this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to take an elastic and close it off because I didn't really, what she did, um, I don't remember. Maybe I should watch. She actually, she did it, she closed it off with those perm rods. Is it perm rods? Those curl rods, I think that's what it's called. She like put it in boiled water and so it stayed curly. But I don't have that. So, who knows, maybe that's the next video, doing those little rod things. For my hair because i've never tried it okay i like it this is nice this is nice i feel like this part is gonna go by faster than you know sectioning my hair because it's like very simple it's not hard to do um i closed it off with a black rubber band you can't you can't even see it i mean you kind of can but who's gonna be that close to me when quarantine or social distancing um but yeah i really like it this is cute. I can't wait to see the whole head. But yeah, this is how the beginning looks like. The starting off. It's not bad. Maybe I'll get better, but it's not bad and it kind of like holds my hair well. So I am mad at it. So yeah, let's just, I'll continue to do the whole thing. Check in here and there. And I'll show you guys the end results. And I just, I'll come back later to show you guys a better up close look, maybe on this side, so you can see better. So, yeah, I'll be back in a few hours. I just finished three rows and it's um, eight o'clock. Um, 
Um, I'm a little too slow with this. So it looks like I'm gonna I'm be here until 12. <sighs> hey y'all, it's 10.15 and I've done half of my head. I have this whole section left. Um, so far I really like it. Y'all see this is long. Um, I'm gonna redo like these two right here because you can kind of already see my hair and it's like Girl, this is the first day. It's not supposed to be looking busted So I might redo that when I'm done with my whole head because I just can't be bothered to go back But I just wanted to um tap in real quick and show y'all The progress so I just wanted to show you guys once again. Um, this is the this side and i already kind of started braiding it and i'm taking my braid and i have my crochet needle and i'm just putting it in and it naturally has like it's split in half already as you can see right here so i take it and i put it into the loop close the needle and then i just pull just a bit and then I open the needle, take it out, and then I take the loop like that. And then I take my real hair and these other two strands, pull it through the hoop like that. Then I take the strands and tiny like that. So the strands are like this. And then I'm gonna start just braiding it, I mean twisting it like that one strand has my real hair and the other one doesn't because it's already braided just a bit so i'm just gonna keep twisting until my hair stops getting braided and then i split my real hair in half and pull it to the other strand that didn't have the my real hair and this is kind of hard to like explain but you can just watch and then i'm just twisting it i'm tightly twisting it because once you're done, it's gonna get looser and you don't want to just twist it loosely and then it's gonna look even like loose when you're done. So you just keep tightening it and twisting it. And then when you're almost at the end of your hair, you're just gonna take just a bit of gel to smooth down the edges and you're just gonna keep twisting like that. Then I have just this much left and I'm taking in a black elastic and just closing off my hair And then you just let it go and it just does that so then you do it like that And There you go, that's how you do it Y'all excuse the mess as I do this time-lapse, but I'm not switching positions I'm too comfortable. Hey y'all, so it is the next day. I finished like at 2.15 in the morning y'all. And I went to bed like around three. And y'all, I had to wake up at 8, so I got like around 8 hours of sleep. But anyways, that's not the video. Um, so this is how the hair looks like. Y'all, do you see this? Do you see this? I'm gonna have to redo like these two and maybe one here. Because you can already start to see the hair, so I don't want that. So I'm gonna have to redo it and like twist it tighter. But this is the overall look. It like reaches my boobs. And I love it, like, y'all see this? It's very bouncy, stiff wear, stiff fool, we don't know her. Um, but I really love it. It looks good, as y'all can see. In the beginning, I made it much smaller. Before, I had just like four in the front. Now there's eight, and it looks really good. I love it. Like the parting, y'all. Do you see her? Do you see her? Oh my God, this... 
this could have been done by like a damn professional okay maybe not a professional but the next best thing girl i would have paid like a hundred dollars for this when i did it on my own okay girl i love it uh y'all should try it too i'm definitely gonna have to redo this one because y'all can see my hair if you guys loved my video please make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below other hair ideas or just techniques that i should try and subscribe if you have not if you enjoyed my video and i'll see you guys next time hopefully bye